We have a live look for you right down Fayetteville Street, downtown Raleigh, as you watch WRL News, available on Hulu and the WRL app on your TV or streaming device. There's new fallout after the death of a New Jersey high school student who took her own life after being bullied. The uh, district superintendent has now resigned and the classmates involved in her brutal beating are facing criminal charges. And now more allegations of other acts of violence surfacing at that same school. Emily Iketa shares reaction from parents. What do we want? Justice! What it's do the we source want it of now? growing outrage. In a video obtained by NBC4 in New York, a 14-year-old student seen repeatedly beaten by classmates earlier this month. Adriana Cush took her life just days later. They're absolutely refusing to protect our children. Her father, I mean, livid, the school didn't call an ambulance or file a police report, he says, following the attack. A 14-year-old girl, my daughter, is literally hit so hard with a 20-ounce water bottle three times in the face that she blacks out. The four students involved have been indefinitely suspended and are facing criminal charges and more fallout this weekend. The district superintendent stepping down not long after he made comments to the press about the late teens home life and behavior, a point of concern among school board members, according to WNBC sources. Before resigning, the superintendent said the school always alerts police and pinned the recent violence in part on the pandemic. They've seen things at home. There's been, you know, domestic violence. There's been things that they shouldn't have been privy to, but unfortunately with COVID, they were. Since Adriana died by suicide, more videos surfacing of other bullying at Central Regional High School. Attorney Jonathan Etman says his client, who is suing the district, transferred to another school after being attacked last year. I'm horrified, horrified that while we are in suit with the school, it's now happened again. And now this young girl, Adriana, has lost her life. Former longtime teacher Daniel Kaiser says there were days I would break up three fights before homeroom. It seemed to get worse as the years went on. It was there was constant fights. It was it was constant turmoil. The district's website says it is evaluating all current and past allegations of bullying, writing the Department of Education will conduct an independent assessment of the district's anti-bullying policies as a shattered community remembers a life lost too soon. Emily Iketa, NBC News.